What's going on guys? KW Style, healthmindpower.com. In this video, I wanna talk about um, a concept that gets overlooked a lot, but it seems obvious, but it's just one of those things that, uh, you know, we try to take on so much, we try to take on too much, and we tend to overlook this concept with, uh, that I've written about before that I, I like to say is progress follows priority, okay? so. The higher you prioritize something, the more progress you're going to make in that area of life. So whatever it is. And this is a common uh, concern for people in my audience because I have a lot of entrepreneurs or people who are really driven in their careers in my audience who read my blog. And so they're constantly putting more and more on their plate and they wonder why they aren't getting the best fitness results like they expect. And a big part of that is because you know, from my own experience and also talking with other people who are entrepreneurs who also are pretty serious about fitness, it's one thing you find is that you kind of, you, you, it's, um, it's very hard to make really big progress with your business and with your body. Because the truth is, is that, you know, if you just want to lose weight, you just want to get fit, you just want to get stronger, those things can, can definitely be done without having it, without having your life, your life doesn't need to revolve around it at all. In fact, in my opinion, I think you know fitness should never be. It shouldn't be the thing that you just that just consumes your entire life. But when you're looking to make a big transformation in a short amount of time, which is possible, um, it requires it. It requires you to prioritize your fitness above everything else, and that's because there's, you just have to put so much more attention to your diet and all these things that. So you know you're in the gym for an hour and a half. And uh, you know, and, and you can get it done, and you've got the rest of the day to handle everything else. But the thing is, is that you know, when you're really trying to make these dramatic changes in a short period of time, you have to be on point with everything else throughout the day. You have to be on point with your diet. You have to be on point with your sleeping, with your with other stuff you do for recovery, like taking Epsom salt baths and stretching and foam rolling, and all these things. I mean, they they really they take up more time from your day, and. Um, the same goes with you know, say you're trying to build a business. Okay, um, if you've if you have any experience with this, then you know that if you're trying to build a business, it is it's pretty much like having a kid. I mean, um, it's it just takes up so much of your time all day, every day, for the most part, depending on what kind of business you're trying to build. And um, you know, it's just it's not not to say that you can't do both because you can. But you have to choose, you have to pick and choose which thing you want to focus on more and prioritize higher. Now, I really believe that if you're truly going all out, you're really taking these things that you're doing seriously, and, you know, no matter what you have going on in your life, maybe you're in school um, and you know you got to focus on that too, or you know, whatever it is, okay? We really only have most, you know, we can really only fully devote ourselves to like two or three big things. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like, obviously if you have kids, you have to take care of them and everything. And that's, but that's just, that's just day to day life. I mean, you just have to adjust to that. But, um, I'm talking about, you know, when you're really trying to progress in something, you're building something, you're creating something, um, you know, just like you're building your body, whether you're burning fat or building muscle, you're creating something. When you're building a business, you're creating something. Um, you know, if you're in school, having to attain all this new knowledge, all the work you have to put into studying and reading and and uh, all the work that goes into it before you even take your tests or even before you even write your papers or whatever. Um, you're putting in work into creating something and there's just only so much energy we have. It's not even so much about the time, it's the energy you can put forth into it that's going to really get you the best results. Okay, it's just like, for example, you know, um, Okay, think about how many times have you put off something like studying or studying for a test or getting a paper done or whatever, and you know, say you it's like two weeks out and you try to sit down and do it, and you're not very productive. Well, then it comes down to where it's the night before it's due. All of a sudden, you can write seven pages just like it's like that, you know, and that's because all of a sudden now it's the number one priority in your life right then. So this is something to keep in mind, and uh, it's just something. To be aware of and to, and to consider that um, you can you can uh, continually make res or get results 
with your fitness, even while you're prioritizing other things in life, but you're not going to be getting your best results always. Um, if you are, if something else is taking a higher priority, which may not be a bad thing because, um, you know, if you're trying to build a business that might actually have a way better impact on your life overall than trying to just go from like 10% to 8% body fat, you know, is that it's not really, you know, um, it's not going to have as much positive impact. So, um, you know, it's all about, it's not so much about, from what I've found, it's not about finding balance all the time. Because if you truly are trying to challenge yourself and take on more in life, you're not going to live a balanced life. That's just one of these myths that people say that you're going to, that you need to find balance. Well, really what the way to find balance is to constantly shift your priorities. That's the best way to balance. As opposed, Instead of trying to do a little bit of each thing all the time, find times when you can do a lot of this thing and just do a little bit of this thing and then switch after every so often and put way more into the other thing and then a little bit in the other. So, okay, for example, you know, getting in shape is the hard part. Staying in shape is the easy part, okay? So if fitness is the one of the, the number one things driving you right now, you know, you just really want to put on some muscle, you really want to lose fat, whatever it is, you want to get stronger, whatever your goal is, um, then you're going to have to, the, the best way, the fastest way would be to focus on that as your number one priority until you get that, until you get there, until you, you know, until you do get down, you've lost enough fat that you're happy with it. Then from there, you can kind of put it on the back burner a little bit. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be your number one priority because maintaining it is going to be easier. And the same thing goes with building a business. You know, there's, there's going to be phases in your business where you're building, you're, you know, you're creating new products or your services, you're developing, um, you're, say you're, if you're developing something new, you're going through a phase where you're hiring people or whatever. Um, you know, those, those times, they require way much of your, way more of your time and energy. But then once things are moving, you know, the money's coming in, you're making money, uh, your employees are paid, your bills are paid, all that, then, you know, you can shift focus. Now, you know, when you do that, is your business going to exponentially grow? Maybe. If you've got a good team and good systems in place, then, maybe, then, then yeah, it can. But if you don't, then, yeah, it might continue to gradually get better while you focus on something else. And this is just, um, this is something that... It's something you just kind of have to come to terms with and wrestle with, and it's a, it's a never-ending challenge, especially for entrepreneurs, especially for for entrepreneurs who also live a fitness lifestyle, and that is because you know it just means that um, every day is every day is work to some extent, you know, and um, you know, I'm not trying to be discouraging or anything. I just want people to get to hear an honest answer that you're not always going to be able to find balance and it's actually okay it's not always the best thing to try to have perfect balance at all times it's not always the best thing sometimes we need time periods of obsessiveness over something to do our best work or to get our best results and there's nothing wrong with that what becomes a problem is when you is when you are off balance for too long okay you know, you never want to let one area of life, if, you, if you're thinking about like, you know, your personal relationships, your family, your friends, um, your career, your business or whatever, then your health. Okay. These are kind of the three big, big areas. You never want to let one just completely go to shit ever because that's the other thing. It's kind of like, it's, for example, it's, it's kind of like, you know, building your body. It's harder to build it than it is to maintain it. Well, that goes for everything. You know, your relationships with your friends and family. Um, you know, it's not that difficult to maintain good relationships, right? Just make a little bit of time to, to talk to people, kind of keep in touch, catch up, you know. You don't have to hang out with your friends every single weekend. Whenever you've got a lot of stuff going on, you're most likely not going to be able to if you're, if you're an entrepreneur or something um, because you're going to be working and be busy. Um, but, but you still want to make time. And if you never, if you let those things completely fall off, then trying to rebuild those relationships is a lot harder than it would have been to just set aside a little time for them to maintain them. And so this whole thing of this whole, there's this whole idea that, you know, people will sell this thing that you can just have it all. You cannot have it all and have perfect balance at all times. 
things are always going to come up. You know, you might think things might be balanced and, and everything's going well. And then some emergency could happen, some kind of health emergency or, or a loved one passes away or something. And all of a sudden it's going to completely shift your priorities again. And this is just, this is just part of life. And for people who want to get the most out of life and they, and they continually push themselves and try to take on more and try to do more, this is going to be one of the number one problems you have to face and have to come to terms with. And if you're feeling guilty because you think that there's this work-life balance that exists that you just somehow can't find, I'm here to tell you it's just it's a myth. Okay, There's, there's never going to be a perfect work-life balance. Um, because the truth is that once you shift your priority away from something, you're just not going to see as much progress in that thing, which is, which is okay. You know, it's just something you need to be aware of. Uh, you need, it's, it should be a conscious decision. It's that you know what you're doing. You know you're shifting away from this. So, um, you know, like I go through periods of all the time, not all the time, but I mean every year, um, I go through certain periods where I don't track my macros, you know. As much as I, I'm always telling you to track your macros, track your macros, yes, that's what you need to do if you want to get results, if you want to get fast results. Um, but but then there are times when I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm okay with where I'm at. i got other stuff I need to focus on. And it just, that little bit of uh, mental energy. And uh, the other thing is during these times I'm not tracking my macros, uh, my diet's just not as good because I'm not tracking my macros. So I'm not, um, at this point, I can kind of eyeball things and, and I have a, a good sense of what works for me, and I, and I definitely can can keep myself into a, in a certain weight range or a certain body fat composition uh, without having to think about it too much, just because of years and years of practice. But even so, even that said, I still don't. You know, whenever I'm whenever I shift my focus away a little bit, uh, I'm not getting like I'm not getting amazing results. I'm just kind of staying the same, which is okay. All you know. That's okay to do that from time to time. So I think I think I'm getting to where I'm rambling a little bit now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Um, and it's something that I'd love to hear your opinion. You know, because this is something that gets people real. Some people get real heated over this whole work-life balance thing, and I think it's because a lot of people have a lot of guilt about it, especially if they have families, uh, and they have a lot of guilt about not spending time with their family. And the truth is that that is a real struggle. A real problem that entrepreneurs especially have to face or people who are really driven in their careers because to win in the business world you have to work every day this is not this is not a nine to five thing okay if you want to really if you truly want to be successful in the business world eight to five is for pussies okay that's just not gonna work that's not you're not gonna that's not gonna get you there so now you know you have to consider what's what's more important, you know, or or either that or you have to develop an understanding with your family or you just have to figure out what works for you, really. So anyways, I'm curious, what does work for you? I want to know what, what you think of this. Uh, what do you do to find balance or, or are you struggling to find balance or do you feel guilty about it? I want to know. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and subscribe so you can always get the new videos as they come out. And I'll see you in the next one.